Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everything in between, and welcome to Project Car. I've literally got, and this is half, this is in my Steam library at this very point, half an hour of use out of this. Most of that has been setting it so that it works on my screen at as high a resolution or as high a output as I can get it to make it look the best while being above 60 because that's the refresh rate of my monitors so anything above that is a plus but I've done half a race on the Nürburgring and that's about it because <laughs> that's as far as I got and I went I need to match this out then I went back onto it and I was getting 24 FPS oh we're gonna cut into a video here let's not be doing that so we're gonna go into a quick practice and have a look I wanted to use uh, this this is um, the Knox Labs thing uh, Google viewer in conjunction with my phone which has Trinus VR on it but unfortunately uh, it doesn't quite respond to the mouse so if I go to the settings your controls assign and camera to so look uh, look left I can't set it to be the mouse which I would like but unfortunately I can't I can do all this sort of stuff but I can't look left and right with the mouse using sorry, using Trinus VR because that basically locks it into the the mouse position into the center of the screen so can't do that which is a shame because that's one of the reasons I actually got this game in the humble bundle if you've never heard of that, go check it out. Very good little uh, online store. Uh, some you can choose how much of it, but some of your uh, pro, uh, some of your payment towards these games will go to charities, the various charities or whichever one you particularly choose. And games are usually cheap. I got this, all of its pretty much all of its DLCs, and about six or seven other games and DLCs for them for fifteen bucks. It's bugger all, and it's awesome. So I'm just going to do a free practice. I set this up. We're going to Bathurst, Australia. And we're going to be in W Motors Road A. The bloody Batmobile by the looks of it. I have no idea how this goes. Or what it's top speed or anything like that is. I just know that it looks cool. Also Bathurst is a V8 track if I remember correctly. For the V8, the so Holdens and Fords. I'm using this just on a generic controller. So unfortunately it doesn't have... That's loud. Doesn't have stuff like um, sensitivity on the accelerator. It's very binary on the accelerator, which is a shame. This car looks amazing. Can of course look behind. Look at this. This game looks gorgeous. You can see at the top there. I am getting above 60 FPS. So, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh fuck! This thing <laughs> does not like to turn very well. Come on. Let's go. Look at the RPM in the top left, uh, top right of the little indicator there. It's 900 now. Up to 7,000 RPM. Jeez, this thing does not hang around. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, it's hard to control though. Oh, shit. shit. Get back on the track. There we go. This is so cool. Look at that. Oh, Look at the heads up display, it's gone. Slow down, slow down, slow down. I'm doing nearly 200. Jeez. That did not feel like 200. How fucking fast is. I need to get on like a drag strip with this thing. This is made for the slower cars, this track. <laughs> this, is, this is definitely not made for this. So, oh, I want this to be a real car so bad with these sort of acceleration shit. Jeez, I'm having to concentrate now. Ooh. I kind of know these turns from watching the odd bit of the V8s when they're on, but not particularly well. I do have the racing hut on, uh, racing line because, like I said, I only have half an hour on it, so I'm not a hundred percent on how the, the cars will drive. New. Oh. And at the moment, damage is visual only. <laughs> Good. It's a straightaway. See if we can hit 300 on this thing. 
260, 270, 80, 290. Oh, we have 300. Jeez. This car can go 300 kilometers an hour. Bloody hell, and I thought that kind of sports car in Armour 3 was fast. This actually feels fast. Because it's got the screen shake going as well. Oh, I need to be over a bit. Slow down, slow down. Oh, sand trap. We're good. Oh, we're not good. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We're good. Jeez, what kind of car needs to rev at 7,000? That's way too high. Oh, big turn. I was not looking at the map. Ah! Oh, kind of drift particularly well. Yeah, that's all right. This isn't exactly a drifting track, though, so I need to keep that in mind. I didn't look, but but I I didn't look, but I don't think there's any of the um, Holden and Ford V8s. I have a look because this is their track. They also have the one down in Pukekohe in New Zealand, near where I am. What other camera controls have we got? We got ooh, one on the roof. Oh, that's all that sound. I think I'm going to rev up tonight, 11,000 RPM. If you're revving it that hard, you're probably doing something wrong, I reckon. Oh, the map zooms out as you're going faster as well. That's awesome. Jeez, what was the last racing game I played? Oh, yeah. That may be a bit broken. It doesn't actually affect how it drives at this point, just because I haven't had a chance to get used to the game, so I want to get used to the game and find out how far I can push it. But it definitely looks like it should be doing. Alright, so going for a bit of a race. you got the McLaren F1 against the bloody Bugatti Veyron, is that? And I don't even know what you are. Kit car of some type. Let's go. These guys are on level 20 difficulty, which is 20 out of 100. Oh, shit. Let's go. Remember the McLaren F1 was in a need for speed 2. Way back on like Windows 95, we used to play the shit out of it. Split screen on that. Ah, oh, good times. There was a map that went through like a um, through a volcano. I spun out. Dermis, she turned it. Oof, does not like doing that. Oh, hi there, Spaghetti Baron. Hi. Is that a Spaghetti Baron? Oops, I think it's a Spaghetti Baron. Looks like a Baron. It may well be some of them. Actually, I've never checked if there's even a Spaghetti Baron in here. I should. It's got the aerial atom. I know that much. It's got the crossbow. Probably cost a couple of million. Uh, it's not being kept. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh. Ah. I'm doing brilliantly. Uh. Oh. Oh. I should save that with an ample application of the handbrake. I think I may need to set the difficulty on that AI a little bit higher. Very loud. Ooh, I can... Oh shit, I hear them. No, I don't. Do I? Ooh, I... No, 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 no. I do hear them. I can see them. Ooh, ooh, nice drift around that corner. Oh, it's not turning. I didn't cut the track, I bloody... Ah, ah. So they just failed. We're finished. Woo. 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 Ow. Is this the finish line? It is the finish line. Oh, that. <laughs> McLaren is slightly shorter than we started off. But as I was saying, with the long list of cars that you've got, um, yeah, there's, a, uh, there's, there's a few. Starting all the way ooh, from these little shifter things. All the way up to the uh, aerial atom. 
supercharged. That's the that's yeah, 300. That's This is the car that made Jeremy Clarkson sort of go, oh shit. And you got the Morgan, which is slightly smaller, slightly lighter. I don't think quite as powerful. But I may be wrong, looking at the uh, design. Then you got the Aston Martin DBR12, DBR12. That's an old car, jeez. They got the, that's a hybrid, jeez. Martin Vintage, V12 Vintage, and V8 Vantage. They haven't got the normal one. I want like the normal Vantage, so it's like road stats. One thing I wish they did have in here that I would love, love to see would be the Lancia Volume X or a uh, sort of road legalized version of the Lancia, uh, what is it called? Lancia Stratos. That's it. That thing. Or Lancia Delta Integrale HF. Those things, fuck. Zero to a hundred kilometers in six seconds around a corner on gravel. They were bloody fast. They dominated the bloody rally scene for years. They would fit in right here. Uh, where would they go? They're going here. They're crossbow. That's kind of okay. Guys. Rocket bunny? The fuck is that? 290 though. Takes almost as long to stop as it does to go. Oh, I saw. Let's have some fun with a 250cc. Right. I've chosen Willow Springs International because it looks like a dick. <laughs> It does, just looks like a dick. Jeremy Clarkson would be all over this if he had the chance. You know it. Oh. Let's go. Ooh. Let's get in the helmet. There we go. It's ever so slightly quieter. I can't see anyone. They're all behind me. Goodbye, suckers! I put the difficulty up a little bit from 20 to 27. I don't know how much of a difference that's going to make. Ooh, in the long run. Wow, this guy, this guy sticks to the road. Ooh. Whee. There we go. Ooh, no, 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 no. Ooh. Hey, ooh. <laughs> oh, wow, well, well, that. Jeez, he takes off bloody fast, doesn't he? How fast can you get? This guy goes bloody 200! I would not go 200 in this thing. It's only in third gear as well. I would, yeah, I would not trust this thing to go 200. <laughs> I say this, ooh, this thing sticks to the road and it fucking well, does. Doesn't want to turn either. Oh god. Ooh. It either doesn't want to turn or it turns all the bloody way. Now, I've driven a 250, a 250cc motorbike, two stroke. It did not go this fast. I want to know what bloody engine they got in this. Jesus. To make it go this fast. Oof. That really throws you off those uh, red lines or uh, barriers around the outside. Also, I'm miles behind everyone. This guy's going fucking hell. You barely even need to slow down, please. No, come on. Our second warning for cutting uh, the track. Vroom, 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 vroom. I'm in the back this time. Ooh, I like that. Oh, that's loud. I keep forgetting how loud this game is. Don't worry me, lads. I'm fine. Where are we going? Oh, there's a turn right here. Ooh. Ay! Stop it. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, no. See, that is an area where having the ability to only apply a little bit of acceleration would be nice. Here we go. Nice on straight. No. There we are. 
Where's that speed? 260. So it's the center one of speed. What is this bullshit? It's a chicane. No, 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 no. No, 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 no! Ah, only steering wheel I have has got such a big dead zone on it, it's unreal. It's a PS2 control, uh, steering wheel, so it needs that dead zone. So it's built into, like, the um, actual hardware. Fortunately. Let's go. I'm chasing you down now. Let's go. 300, we hit 300, I'm okay with that. Uh, uh, um, go. Oh, we got this bullshit chicane as well. Coming through. No! I want to go that way. Always ruin it for me, Chicane. What have I done to you? Let's go, let's go. Is this the end of the race? It is. Oh, jeez. Oh, we hit 300. <laughs> Where did I get? I got last. The loading time is actually quite short. When it comes down to it, maybe about 10 seconds or so. Ooh, what V8s? Ooh, that's very high pitch. Let's go. Ooh, bit of a twist on the start off there. Hi there. I'm drifting you. Drifting? Drafting. Oh, I know this track. This is an F1 track. Grand Prix track even. Grand Prix if you're so inclined. No, get back on the track! Let's go. Oh god! Did you hit me? Yeah. Getting a hang of this. Oh, that's a turn. Oh, I didn't do that very well. This is... This is not going. <laughs> Jeez! This car does not want to drive. Yes, you're very grumbly. In it, but... Oh, you got too much talk. Too much. You're all talk. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Was that appalling display of driving finesse? Uh, I guess we'll call it a day. I hope you're nice. Uh, yeah. Eventually, I will be able to say that in one go, and you will all be impressed. Not likely. We will be. Uh, oh my god. I hope you guys have a nice morning, a nice evening, and a nice afternoon, and I hope I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.